Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? To choose your subtitles, go to the upper right hand corner to the setting button and switch on the captions and choose your language. Hi everyone, today we are going to make a lovely combination. That is, we are going to make fish fillets with lovely crispy golden fried chips and tartar sauce. Everything is just perfect. Just look at that. Isn't it tempting and delicious? So let me take you all through the ingredients. I have taken six fish fillets. The fish which I have used is zonok and it's also known as betki or baramundi. Now in the spices, 1 teaspoon each of mixed herbs, chili flakes, oregano and 1 lemon. And we will also be using salt to taste. Let's first marinate the fish by sprinkling salt. Put a nice amount of salt and then once you have added the salt, put in the other spices. Put in the pepper, put in the chili powder the oregano, the mixed herbs, all the spices one by one. See that the fish is coated very well on one side. There, we have almost sprinkled all the spices, half the spices on one side, the other half we will be keeping to marinate the other side of the fish. Now, once you have sprinkled all the masalas, just Massage them nicely on one side, but before that, squeeze some lime on top. I have taken one whole lemon because the lemon I have used is smaller in size. Now, once we have done all this, we will just massage the masala onto the first side of the fillets. See that all the fillets are coated nicely. Now, let's flip the fillets and Apply masala now to the other side, the way we did the first side. So, put in the remaining masalas, that is the other half of the masalas. And massage that as well onto the fillets. Once we have applied the masalas, we will keep the fillets aside for about 20 to 25 minutes. So that the masalas are absorbed well by the fillet. Now, we have applied the masalas and we will keep the fillets aside. For the coating, we will require half a cup of maida and a little less than a quarter cup of corn flour. Just mix both of them well and keep. We also will require two eggs and panko breadcrumbs as required. For the chips, I had parboiled three potatoes. First I had cut them and then sprinkled corn flour, allowed them to cool and then frozen them. Now after freezing, we can fry these and they will turn out really crisp, golden and wonderful. For the tartar sauce, in a cup of mayo, I have put in about 2 tablespoons each of chopped onions, grated carrots and chopped cucumber with a little kothmir inside and mixed everything. Now, first let's fry the chips. I have kept the oil to heat and once the oil is hot, we will add in our french fries. The coating of corn flour will give these chips a nice, wonderful, crisp texture and also a wonderful, nice golden color. So, on a high flame, we will be flying these chips. The potato has already been parboiled and therefore, I am keeping the flame high. Now, keep flipping the chips in between till they become nice and golden. There, our chips are nice and golden and crisp. We will now keep the chips aside in a plate 
and like this we will continue frying the chips till all our chips are fried golden and nice this is the second batch just look at that nice crisp and yummy and they really taste awesome when they are hot there the crisp golden chips are ready now and once we fried them we will keep the plate aside and we will now prepare the coating so in a plate break two eggs and then season the eggs with a little salt and just a pinch of pepper just a hint of pepper very little on each egg and then we will add in about a tablespoon of water and whisk the eggs well till they become nice and frothy so whisk your egg and keep it ready for the coating our fish has been marinating for about 20 minutes and we will now coat it with the mixture of maida and corn flour pat it into this mixture very nicely so that the maida and corn flour have coated each and every part of the fillet just press it down tap it down nicely and then shake off the excess flour and then dip it into the egg coat both the sides with egg well see that all the sides are covered really nicely and after this we will put the fillet in the bread crumbs again see that the fillet is coated very well on both sides with the bread crumbs i have used panko because it gives a very good texture and taste to the fillets there our fillet is now ready to go into the oil the oil has been heating and in hot oil we will put in our fillet and fry it till it turns a nice golden brown first let it turn brown on one side and then we will flip it and let it turn brown on the other side as well there can you see lovely our first fillet is now ready drain the oil well and keep it aside in a plate like this one by one we will fry all the fillets don't try to fry many fillets at the same time because they might break so just one fillet at a time is good now pat the next fillet in the same way coat it nicely with maida and corn flour see that each and every part is well coated and once you have done that the next step will be to dip it in egg shake off the excess flour and dip it in the egg mixture coat it nicely on both sides with the egg there can you see now into the bread crumbs again bread crumbs have to be coated well on both the sides there panko really gives a good texture to the fillet now into the hot oil let it fry nicely golden brown on one side and then we will flip it and allow it to become golden brown on the other side the fillets are lovely and crisp on the outside and nice and soft inside keep the fillet aside in a plate like this all the fillets will be fried and kept ready so do like share subscribe press the bell icon and the subscription as always is free now let's plate lovely see fillet with lovely crunchy golden chips and a nice helping of tartar sauce i mean what else can you ask for it's a delicious combination do share this recipe with your friends and family and thank you for watching